Salutations audience, you're watching Baby Go, I'm Ben, and today I'll be doing a quick upload about some of the major news stories this week, but first we do have some exciting Baby Go news. Um, I accepted a place at university this week, so from the end of September I shall be uploading from there. Now this gives me a lot more free time than I had when I was studying for my A-levels, so I shall be utilising some of the time that we that I'll have free to make some more videos for you guys. So as our regular viewers know, Avery and I upload every Sunday. And so it's I upload one Sunday, Avery uploads the next. So that leaves a week between us. Uh, so I'm planning to utilize the Wednesday between my upload and Avery's upload to give you some more content from you guys. But I want to know what you want to see because I'm gonna I have some ideas for skits. I have some ideas for Let's Play, I have lots of, lots of ideas, but I want to hear what you guys really want to see. So you can email us at baverico at gmail.com. You can find us on Tumblr, um, which is baverico on Tumblr, or the dash teacup dash pig dash gambit for me on Tumblr. Um, so yeah, that's my exciting baverico news. Now on with the video. So, uh, this is going to be a 100% objective, I'll say 99% objective, um, video about some of the major news stories this week. So firstly, Ferguson, Missouri. For those of you who aren't aware of what's happening, on the 9th of August, an 18-year-old black boy called Mike Brown was shot and killed by a white police officer. This has sparked protests from the community, and President Obama has even ordered the Department of Justice to launch an independent inquiry into his death. However, what were peaceful protests were dispersed by police using tear gas and bullets and the situation has escalated so that the governor of Missouri, Jay Nixon, has declared a state of emergency and imposed a curfew on the town due to an outbreak of rioting over the last few days. Sticking with America for the moment, the governor of Texas, Rick Perry, has been indicted on two charges one of the abuse of official capacity and one for the coercion of a public servant. What happened was that Perry vetoed funding for the state public corruption prosecutors when the head of that unit, District Attorney Rosemary, Rosemary Lemberg, refused to resign after she faced a drunk driving charge and verbally assaulted officers who tried to arrest her. So basically the two charges is that Rick Perry, uh, abuse of official class means Rick Perry overstepped his boundaries as governor of Texas and coercion, which is akin to bullying, um, that is like bullying a public official. However, Perry vows to fight the charges as he believes because Rosemary Landberg is a Democrat, the charges and felonies were politically motivated. Furthermore, Perry does not want his reputation damaged before his uh, run for Republican candidacy in the 2016 presidential election. Um, in Ukraine, Western journalists have observed a col convoy of armed vehicles entering Ukraine from Russia, which many see as evidence of Russia's involvement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. So for those of you who aren't aware of what's happening in Ukraine, Various territory disputes and annexings have led to an escalation which is akin to a full-blown civil war in Ukraine, with the Ukraine standing army fighting pro-Russian rebels. There's been suspicion that Russia has been supplying those rebels with weapons, and many journalists see this latest convoy spotting as evidence of that. And in lighter news, History has been made as the first woman, uh, a woman named Mariam Merzakhani, that, yeah, I practice that, has become the first woman ever to win the prestigious Field Medal, Field Medal for Mathematics. Uh, Mariam is an Iranian woman and she has made history by becoming the first woman to win the prestigious medal. So that's a brief update on what's going on in the world. I'll post some articles to news stories from credible sources 
for more information. Avery will be back next week, and I'll see you the week after. Have a good week, guys.